Hi, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to our global transformation meditation as we are aligned with the Lionsgate portal of 8 8 2021. We are actually doing this on August 7th, 2021. Um, since uh, just worked into our schedule. But welcome. And, you know, everybody, let's just take a deep breath. And really uh, feel into your space, your personal space. And just really become present. Let's use our central vertical channel to align ourselves. So align yourself to your own soul essence and nature. It's all about soul living now. In your neck, if you feel called to do so, and your shoulders, like you're unfurling your avatar wings, the avatar human in the light body has uh, wings, and that's what is meant by our our wings. And the breath can connect us with that aspect of ourselves, our light body. And someone that I, um, another person or group that I belong to, they um, say that our lungs are actually the manifested uh, aspect of our light body wings. So when you breathe, you know, really connect into your uh, total essence of who you are. Really keeping the lungs strong. So before I get started with the actual meditation, um, Samantha, oh, I still like to call her Sammy. Um, Samantha, referring to my daughter who's uh, beyond verbal autistic. She's 22 now, so she's a young woman. And um, um, no, it's just, had a moment here where uh, I have to remember if I started the recording. So she's a young woman now, and I, you know, uh, Sammy was more of her childhood name, uh, but you know, she's still always my child. But uh, there's an adult aspect that's coming forward as she continues to embody. So I'm trying to keep call her Samantha more often. But anyway, she had a message for us, and it's kind of for the collective. Uh, from the collective consciousness. Um, so it's, it, it can be, a, it's a complex message in some ways. Uh, I just kind of typed it out as just allowing it to flow through. So I didn't really do much editing to it or if any. Uh, and I will include the transcript of this message when I send out the uh, link for the downloadable for the download, uh, I'll send it in the email message. So Sammy says, um, for the 8721 Global Transformation Meditation, she says, dear friends, welcome to this very important event. It's an event that's been building and building. So much cosmic work has gone into this time of transition and there's still more to be done more to unfold. Take heart in these confusing and difficult times, for you are dancing at the precipice of epic changes. So many lies to maneuver through, so many broken hearts to be mended, but it's all for the ultimate freedom of humanity. The deceptions and lies are, from a certain vantage point, meant to shake more awake. The ridiculousness and contradictions can only eventually have the effect of dismantling all that was woven into a 3D matrix. 
the virus and pandemic is causing mass confusion and the mRNA shots confuses the issue even more. We told you last year that this virus that's causing so much turmoil was created by man's ignorance and the ignorance doesn't stop there. It has been compounded by a man-made mRNA that is supposed to fix the situation. A mandate, a man-made virus and a mandate a ma and a man-made shot. We do not criticize those who received the mRNA shot because we know that some of you did it out of a sense of responsibility to humanity, to protect yourself because you were coerced or enticed or any combination of reasons. We know that much of humanity truly wants peace. We know you are tired of deception, feeling like you are unworthy and tired of fighting each other. We autists are here to show you that our soul essence and core energy cannot be changed by rulers, rules, laws, and government agencies that only mandate a small bandwidth of the human potential. Despite all the therapies and education that we received, many of us could not be changed to conform or fit in. We see and experience too much. Consider that you have been getting a taste of what we have experienced through these mandates and rules. We see that some of you believed in these rules as a means of protection because some have suffered from COVID-19. It is not pretty for those who suffered and died alone in hospitals. And yes, some suffer today from a condition that is seemingly beyond your control. There are souls who died alone in hospitals whose souls have been mired in confusion in the afterlife and caught in a web. Some of our friends have been working to free them. We do not want to rehash what is going on in the outer world for you live it and know it all too well. Rather, let us point to a higher vantage point of what is changing in the cosmic landscape. And cosmic does not mean it is somewhere out there. You are cosmic. The earth is cosmic. And all life on the planet is cosmic. The changes and openings that have occurred and continue to happen are in you and all around you. The states of matter must change with all that has transpired. It is time to make another leap. Many of you have, quote, expanded consciousness, unquote. The changes in your density of form can be defined as a transfiguration. And there will be many subtle alchemical changes to your density in this life. No, you won't completely become light in your current life, but that is the trajectory for the human avatar template. And consider that if you are changing density, so is the earth. It is actually the earth that is transfiguring. And so all forms of matter on the planet, on the earth must adapt. This means your bacteria, viruses, microparasites, bugs, ocean life, plants, trees, animals, fungi, mushrooms, rocks, crystals, etc. Let us consider what is happening with the coronavirus that quote causes COVID-19 in light of the cosmic changes that have occurred. Your news reports that there are new variants and that some of the latest ones are deadlier. Consider that this coronavirus that can lead to COVID-19 for some people it's also being affected by the cosmic changes underway. The Delta variant is actually three variations from our perspective and is not well understood. The variations are subtle and accurate variations are not really clearly quote seen because there is a very dynamic nature to quote seeing something so minute. Viruses do exist as first and second dimensional quote entities that plays a role in sustaining matter on the earth and interfaces to assist life on the planet. To make adaptations to many species that have to make changes as the earth goes through changes. 
Are the variants more deadly and contagious? For some, yes, for others, no. For the majority, however, we do not see it as being more deadly. It may appear as though certain areas are harder hit, as you say, but the information is not completely accurate. The energetic change is happening on the Earth is complex to explain, but there are areas where the ley lines and grids are much more damaged and life force currents from the earth are not running optimally. And quite honestly, there are many other toxins and some of those areas which is harming people's immune system. It is consequently important to work with the sun, which is un also undergoing radical changes and the cosmic life force currents are ever increasing in its power. Your trees have also been infused with another level of spiritual power from the original tree father. Consequently, the ability for the trees to breathe for the earth is ever increasing in power. And the trees will greatly assist in clearing out the toxins. Breathing is very cleansing. Breathing with the trees in the sun is and will be very healing. Many of you know this already. We don't wish to take up more, quote, time here, haha, but would like to just mention the mushrooms and their mycelium network that they form around the earth. Mushrooms have now been studied much more closely for about the last 20 years and are being recognized for the important network of information that they form. They are like the planetary nervous system and play an important role in maintaining balance with the world of virums, bacteria, and other microcosmic, microscopic life. The mycelium network is going through a boost and amplification of its network. This network will play a key role in what happens with the coronavirus that you are also currently afraid of. The multidimensional sun will stimulate the production of another virus to nullify the virus that can lead to COVID-19 if needed. To conclude, we leave you with a few thoughts and rhetorical questions. Power of nature has an intelligence to correct itself. Can you trust in its power? Do you believe that no other doctors and researchers are looking into treating people who may come down with COVID-19? Power of not just the universe, but the omniverse is with you. Humanity has come too far in attaining its freedom to allow some to keep humanity in 3D consciousness bondage. But please take only that which resonates for you. No medical advice is inferred in this message. Claim your sovereignty and do what you feel is best for you in the moment. So that's an uh, interesting message from Sammy. And Definitely the feeling that I've been having um, these last couple of months for a while, but really as more and more new information comes through, new energy comes through, um, it, I'm struck with how much support we have and that as we continue to become soul beings and we open our communication links to source, you know, more and more communication links to source, that they will assist us with whatever we need in the moment. So whatever is thrown in our way that uh, is attempting to divert this ascension and evolution of humanity, that new, these new creation technologies will uh, come forward because we are communicating with source in a way that we have never been able to communicate with them be with before. And so these technologies, these creation technologies, omniversal technologies are coming in um, with what we need. And again, as our life forms on the planet, they, they evolve faster, right? Our plants, uh, bugs, viruses, bacteria, they have different, different life cycle than we do. And they are adapting much more quickly. And so these changes are, are all around us really. Um, let me share my screen again, as uh, so I have a couple of images to talk about before we um, 
get into the actual meditation. So, um, yeah, I wanted to talk about just a couple of key, uh, just as an example of how powerful the um, new, new for forces of God have been to renew everything on the planet. Um, this uh, represents the healed Vesica Pisces. So that I know you've probably seen this kind of image before in some of my previous videos, if you watch them about the bi wave. So um, the, uh, what this represents is the original two aspects of source, let's say when it, uh, when there was a, um, a feminine or mother emanation and a, a masculine or father emanation, and they became uh, two aspects, let's say. And when they joined um, together, uh, they create the, the, where that space in the middle there that looks like, um, really, if you turn it, it's like an eye, uh, that that is a, you know, one second, I think my husband's busy with Sam right now. Um, so when the two joined, the space in between is known as the Vesica Pisces. And in the 3D fallen matrix, this um, these two and the Vesica Pisces were operating in bi wave. They would be, they distorted it. They meaning these multidimensional beings that have been interfering uh, with the Earth and humanity. Um, they bent it so that it would operate in extreme polarity, and so that became uh, part of the the fallen template that we have been operating on. So now I can't remember exactly what day this came through, but I, you know, I saw uh, sort of a portal. I was aligned to this portal and they were, there were lyrans and this is like 15 dimensional lyrans that I'm referring to kind of looking down and they sent me down literally this image. Um, and they said it was the, the healed Vesica Pisces. So, this is one of the, what I would call one of the new creation technologies to renew everything. It replenishes. Um, it has this feeling of, uh, of purity and, and paradise to it. And was the, really the basis of the uh, fifth dimensional human template on Terra, the original fifth dimensional earth or not the earth, but it was to call Tara. Um, as, as we would call it now. And it was based on this very pure uh, father, Holy Mother, Holy Father aspect that joined. And when these two come together, right, that's when we would get the, the birth of the three, the third principle. And um, I'll talk about that a little bit more in the next image. So this image, the, the healing of the Vesica Pisces also actually heals our water because this original two um, also impacts the electron and proton because those are also um, like aonic pairs or pairs of uh, two charges of polarity, right? One is the proton is considered to be have a positive charge, the electron is considered to have a negative charge. So, um, when those two come together now, uh, it will, I'm just saying literally he, it's healing our waters because our, our hydrogen atoms are uh, one electron and one proton and they're the basis of much of life on earth, water anyway. And um, the, if you look at the water molecule, water is two hydrogens and an oxygen. And I never thought of it that way, but that's almost like a trinity itself. Um, so there's a great deal happening now with uh, this uh, healed Vesica Pisces and it impacts our, our very matter. It affects our atoms. It affects uh, the molecular aspects of uh, our physical reality. And 
it's it affects us, our physical bodies, because we are made of those uh, atoms and um, uh, physical matter that creates this this reality. So uh, it's a pretty you know pretty exciting things you know from that cosmic perspective. Um, this uh, represents the the two human blueprint, a masculine, a male and a female. The, uh, the one you see on the left in that green color is, represents the, the masculine, a, a male and the right, uh, a female. And they're both very similar, right? Kind of androgynous. Um, and I was guided to draw this. Uh, you could see the healed Vesica Pisces in there and the third sphere, uh, which is the, the third principle. We are the third principle. We are we are the manifest Christ consciousness, the Christ Sophia in physical form. And, and that's the, the idea of what uh, this too um, means. So uh, our blueprint will be based on this healed Jessica Pisces as the foundation of our very matter. Um, you'll see this, what looks like a DNA. Uh, this is something that the kids showed me a couple of years ago. Um, I call it the diamond studded DNA. Uh, you can't see it, but if you, you know, if you were to look, zoom in, it has a, like, it looks like diamond studs on there. Um, so there is 12 of these, uh, right? These uh, oval kind of shapes, 12 of them. And it represents that the human avatar, uh, currently we're connected, it, supposed to connect to 12 dimensions of our universe. And there are 12 lines in these ladder representing that within each dimension, there are 12 subharmonic frequencies in each uh, dimension that we access. So that means even the first, second, and third dimension, which is considered, would be considered like the densest um, there are uh, there's there are twelve of these sub harmonic bands, and this is one of the ways that we get uh, the twelve dimensions, these twelve sub sub harmonic bands, and Christ consciousness. There's uh, of the one forty four of Christ consciousness. Um, the twelve times twelve is related to this. Now I don't know if the DNA actually actually looks like this, but again this is just a representation um, of the, the full avatar human uh, template in uh, 12 dimensions that we are to ascend to. So this represents the, being infused into the planet and um, there's like one human soul that's called kind of the template and with this, uh, Lionsgate portal, one of the things that I feel like is happening is the activation of this one human soul. Uh, and we are all connected to that. And so we as human beings, we have our uh, own um, personal soul matrix. Um, but it's also connected to this one human uh, oversoul, and we have a connection to that oversoul as well. So I wanted to just kind of describe what uh, these two images are before we get into the um, meditation. Okay. So. Oh. Let's just prepare for this meditation. Are you doing some work to prepare the body so that you can take in, uh, be able to process the energetic information through the physical. Um, it has to come in through the physical as well. Now for us to be able to make 
the physiological changes that's happening to the planet. So breathe into your own heart space. And then tend to connect to your horror line or central vertical channel. Do some balancing, balance the right to left, left to right, or the masculine, feminine, and feminine and masculine. Let's balance the above to below, the below to the above, the back to front, front to back, the outer to inner, the inner to outer. Balance the yin and the yang aspects of yourselves. Balance mental body, emotional body. It's been waves of healing through the mental emotional body. Balance the electric and the magnetic aspects of your being. Let's balance ourselves with the physical to the light body, clearing the interface between the light body and your physical body. Balancing all protons, electrons, and neutrons in the body. Call to balance your DNA strand, which also has a masculine feminine side or connection to Holy Mother and Holy Father. Intend to put a protective field around your individual space. Clear any debris that they have lifted out with that balancing. So feel that protective space around yourself so that we don't interfere with each other's energies and whatever um, dead light energy or um, you know entity attachments that you may have had that uh, comes forward during this process that we're not sharing it with other people here you know so it doesn't go somewhere else. Um, I'm just going to amplify your sh personal shield. Go around each of you. And join this group space that we're creating together. Really feel your heart. That's the, uh, your soul essence is coming forward. If you're feeling a lot of heat in the middle of your chest. Okay. do some things to uh, um, help us stabilize ourselves. So six to eight inches below your feet uh, is your personal earth star. You tend to connect to your earth star. From your heart and your high heart, your high heart is uh, about the phonic level. This also connects to the universal heart and connects you to your oversoul. Maybe feeling the back of your neck, the medulla oblongata, which we, we um, say that we recognize that to be our ninth chakra. and your crown, your high heart, and um, your ninth chakra uh, is where we access, that's the seventh, eighth, and ninth dimensions, and that's where we access the oversoul. Okay, so from your high heart, happy about your high heart, um, intend to connect like an energy stream that goes through your arms and connect to your hands. Connecting high heart to your, uh, your personal heart, the fourth chakra or 
the heart chakra. Intend to uh, activate an energy line that kind of goes diagonally down, all the way down to your feet, your feet chakras. Help you stabilize. So your feet and your earth stars helping you to stabilize. Okay, so now I can uh, really activate this. Looks like a icosahedron bubble. And it's 20 sides, it's a 20 sided polygon. We're engaging this as our group field. And you're still in your um, personal protective space. From your heart, you draw these energy lines that goes up to the crown, heart to left palm, heart to left foot, heart to right foot, heart to right palm. Act also activate uh, a personal star icosahedron, which is a 20 pointed polygon, a 20 pointed star. Use your intention. Also activate your personal star tetrahedron. So it just looks like the, uh, the two dimensionally, it just looks like the star of David, but it's a star tetrahedron. Also help you be stable, It'll also help stabilize your, your light body. Okay, I think we're ready to move on. Everybody feeling a bit more stable. Yeah, let's breathe and align to your central vertical channel again. Breathe. And breathe like you're breathing your core spirit down that central vertical channel all the way down through the pelvis. down to the perineum. I really, I'm gonna take a moment and strengthen that um, central vertical channel. <laughs> Feel your Dantian. which is around um, about your navel area, a couple of inches below the navel. It's not the same as the sacral chakra. It's what martial artists use to uh, stay, stabilize themselves. Um, they call it the, uh, also the center of gravity, holds us uh, to the earth. And now, uh, Activate this horizontal line that goes through the Dantian as well to help you stabilize. So we're getting really stable in the body and the physical so that as we um, go through this process, the energy might get um, to be too intense. So really stabilizing to be here, uh, connecting with the body. Um, and using the physical uh, energetic aspects we have available to us to, to do that, um, keeping that stability. So throughout the meditation, I may take a moment and stabilize again. I feel like there are people that are getting a little wobbly. Oops. Yeah. So Holy Mother, Holy Father, Holy Christos Sophia, we call forth the healed Vesica Pisces. Our connection to source, our connection to prime creator, 
that has not been, for lack of a better term, operating optimally in the 3D reality that we have known. And we give thanks for this new technology, this new higher vibrational um, aspect represented by these two spheres of Holy Mother, Holy Father, coming together, joining together to have, to have taken on a traje trajectory of creation, to know itself better, to experience the multitude of realms in a way that cannot be imagined. Call forth the autists of the seven higher heavens to join us at this in this moment to feel into the space we recognize you those these autists as also having physical bodies that may have seemed to be operating in brokenness, but truly they were unwilling to connect with the physical body until the template of the avatar human could be brought into the earth. And because of their help and assistance, they have brought through many activations, many codes, many harmonic sounds and vibrations that we cannot even imagine at this time. Call forth the multidimensional sun that is also now emanating and changing its vibration and supporting the evolution of humanity, our earth, and also our entire solar system. Breathe in the rays of the multidimensional sun. and allow yourselves to be nourished and replenished. Activate the, the earth and all its new connections with the mm, intraspatial dimensions, connections with the 144 earth plane crystals now, which feed into the Diamond River flow where uh, a multitude of life force currents are permeating our entire physical matter in all dimensions, in all timelines. Or the God of Paradisian time, dissolve old timelines that has attempted to keep us in 3D bondage. Soul beings, we ask that you also disconnect each of us from. 3D timelines that is not part of my ascension and evolution. God of Paradisian time, 
we assist the earth in creating and activating new timelines, the new timelines time and trajectories for the ascension process. And that wherever we may deviate, we will be brought back to center, to realign ourselves to the true organic evolutionary timelines that will help heal us as individuals in this lifetime and also contribute to the healing of humanity and all of life on the planet we recognize that we are one with all life and all matter on the planet and that a 3d consciousness has kept many from seeing and understanding that okay take a deep breath Breathe deep into the belly. Diamond sun here to burn out miasma. Please clear out all dead light energy from the planet, from the core of the planet at macro and microcosmic levels, cleared out from our physical bodies with as much grace and ease as possible, according to the soul trajectory for each, each person. We ask this for the planet and on behalf of any other beings on the planet whom we have permission to speak for. Diamond Sun representing a black hole here to consume the madness, here to consume the dead light energies and, and any structures at the macro and microcosmic levels that does not belong, that does not operate in oneness and wholeness be consumed in this fire, to be transmuted, to be transfigured, to be remade if and when possible. We do this for ourselves, and for any and all beings whom we have permission to represent. But as more can be consumed and as more constructs that have caused the madness on the planet can be erased, can be transmuted, can be healed, we know that we can enable this transition to happen as smoothly and as gracefully as possible. We affirm our attention, intention that by joining hands with one another on the planet that we can attain peace much more gracefully 
does not have to be radical changes. We ask that those lower 3D constructs of beliefs that have held us in extreme polarity be thrown into and consumed by the fire of this diamond sun. And as each of you may be guided to listen to the recording at other times, you can write out things that you want to be uh, consumed as, as they come forward for yourself or for the planet when you notice them. Homas, the father of the tree spirits, thank you for blessing us with your infinite presence for reanimating the tree life on the planet. We have not always recognized the magnificence of trees and the essential role that they play on this planet. And we invite you now to truly anchor into the planet. Let your roots steep into every crevice and nook and cranny of our planet, anywhere and any place any space that we cannot even see or imagine, we invite you to really connect into the earth and find these crevices. We call forth the mycelium network in this moment. And we know that you, the mycelium network plays an important role in connecting the trees on our planet, connecting the sentient and vast intelligence of the planet. We offer our assistance in establishing this connection, anchoring this connection. Of course, the dragons, diamond water dragons, diamond fire water dragons, Diamond dragons of sapphire, a ruby, diamonds, emeralds. I call forth the earth dragons to assist in this process, to empower this process. We intend to be in oneness with our Holy Father and in wholeness with our Holy Mother. We are one within ourselves. We are one with the planet. Our combined power as one humanity cannot be shaken, cannot be diverted from the true path that we are on, the true path that we have come to assist in. We have come too far to go back and we refuse any and all beings who are attempting to continue the game of 3D polarity to leave now. We command this to be so, we command it to be, to be so with our, in our divine, which is in divine right order as soul beings that we are. Holy Mother, Holy Father, we ask, and with the assistance of the autists of the seven higher heavens, to now fully penetrate our earth with this um, new human template. Well, we should say, get it in the
we command that they heal the vesica Pisces, now completely penetrate the multidimensional earth at every dimensional level and every dimensional layer so that it affects and impacts every state of matter of the earth and in the earth. Holy Mother, Holy Father, we ask that you penetrate the earth and the new human template with the diamond studded DNA, the upgraded human template that is here to assist humanity to it which is here to help us heal at all levels to penetrate the earth and we ask that this diamond studded dna will also communicate with our DNA in our physical bodies to assist us in making the changes and the alchemical transition needed to change with the planet, to adapt with the planet as she continues to evolve and ascend. Yes, that's, 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 the root and intend to just animate your bone matrix, the densest part of our being, the human body. And then do a quick clearing of the bone matrix. Liquid, fire serpent. Breath of ether. Holy Mother, Holy Father, we activate this gift from the realms on high, which is assisting us to become coherent and to heal and align with our personal soul matrices, matrices. We recognize that our soul matrix has multidimensional qualities to it. And that there are interdimensional spaces and fields that our soul matrix accesses. Our soul matrix contains information 
of lessons from the past, lessons that don't need to be repeated, that enable us to have an inner knowing of what is right and what is wrong. Our personal soul matrix is connected to the source of the all that is. And by your breath, animated this personal soul matrix to be in this current human form, to be on this planet now at this time so that I may play my part and each of us may play our parts during this monumental change that is happening on the planet. May each of us be in service according to the will of the one. And with, with this breath, maybe also cancel and delete any old contracts that our soul matrix aspects of our soul may have been connected to that does not serve me that does not serve the evolution and ascension that my soul is on We do this for ourselves and we do this for any on any others on the planet whom we have permission to represent in this moment. And the autists are also participating with that as well. And this is part of what is helping them enables them to connect to their personal soul matrix, which helps them embody um, at this time. Holy Mother, Holy Father, Holy Christo Sophia, may each give and receive according to his and her soul mission. We declare ourselves to be God's sovereign and free soul beings as decreed by the omniversal law of one. Before we close and seal the session, Mia, let's do one more clearing. Any debris, any distortion, distorted energies that may have been residing in our any aspect of our being, mental, emotional, physical body, from our organs, from our body systems. From the light body. Just intends to clear it out, clean it out, be composted according to divine will and according to divine laws. We close and seal this session into the light of oneness and wholeness. And so we declare it to be so. Stay tuned for anything else uh, that may arise by um, 
I think most of you are getting our blogs and uh, e-newsletters or emails. Um, It may take you, you know, a few days to, to integrate. So uh, just be gentle with yourselves. And again, um, you may want to listen to it again at other times, just to continue your own personal clearing and cleansing. What else? Please. Sammy has. Uh, okay, Sammy has one. She wants to say, oh, she's saying, remember that wherever you are on this issue of uh, the vaccines, uh, the coronavirus, um, that the most important thing right now is that we are not divided, you know, whether you believe in vaccines or not, whether you feel People, other people should get vaccinated or not vaccinated. Um, we must really learn to discern what are dividing tactics, ta tactics to divide us because that the, the more divided humanity is, that is uh, causing more, it, more uh, challenges to uh, make these changes because then they have to, uh, there, there's new things that have to keep being created. Uh, well, you, you get it, you all get it. It's not as smooth as it, as it could be if, if we're divided. And if we're fighting amongst each other, uh, our focus goes to that instead of um, creating peace, uh, oneness and wholeness for everyone. But I think um, all the people here listening uh, understand that. So thank you for joining us. Thank you for your assistance. Uh, in this process, like I said, I think even just a few of us doing this with the Autist Collective is, is uh, very, very powerful and we'll be making it public on um, a different platform. So stay tuned for that and um, we hope that you will share that with uh, your friends and other people who may uh, resonate with our work. So again, thank you so much for joining us and thank you for your bravery and courage uh, and discernment to navigate these very confusing times. Thank you.